I'll be using this yarn, Freya or Freya, with a 4 millimeters hook as recommended. It's a made in Turkey, 100% acrylic. This is the hook I'm using. Let's dive in. Make a loop. And you're going to make a chain of 58. So my chain is ready. We're no, now going to work a double crochet. So wrap your yarn, chain two. Come into the third loop and work a double crochet and go into the next loop with a double crochet and you're going to continue working a double crochet on the rest of the chain. If you don't know how to work a double crochet, I've explained how to do it in most of my videos. Or you can use YouTube to find out how a, work, a double crochet is made. I'll first end my video and meet you at the end of the row. Our first row is done. We are going to the second. So we are going to chain two. Turn your work. That's like your first double crochet. Go back into that same loop with a double crochet. chain one and go back with two double crochets into the same loop and then you're going to skip two loops into the third one two come into this third loop with a double crochet chain one skip one loop into the in the next with a double crochet like that wrap your yarn skip two loops into the third work two double crochets in that same loop chain one go back with two double crochets Then skip one, two into the third, put a double crochet, chain one, skip one loop into the next with a double crochet. So this is how it looks. You're going to work the same thing on the entire row. I'm going to meet you at the end of my second row. I am getting done with my second row. Again, skip two loops into the third with a double crochet, chain one, skip one loop into the next with a double crochet, wrap your yarn, skip two loops into the last loop and put two double crochets in the same loop. Chain one and go back with two double crochets. So this is how our second row looks like. The next row you're going to chain one, turn your work, slip stitch in that loop and then go in the chain one loop, slip stitch. Chain two, wrap your yarn, go back with a double crochet, chain one, go back in the same loop with a double crochet. So what we did is 
to just help us move into the chain one space wrap your yarn go into the on top of the double crochet put a double crochet chain one go on top of the next double crochet like that wrap your yarn go in the chain space put two double crochets chain one go back with two double crochets just like we worked the first row wrap your yarn go on top of the double crochet with a double crochet chain one go on the double crochet with a double crochet and continue working the same thing i'll meet you at the end of the row i am at the end of my third row wrap your yarn go in the chain one space of the last cluster put two double crochet in the center chain one and go back with two double crochets this is the pattern you're going to use all the way chain one turn your work slip stitch in the next loop and go in the chain one space slip stitch chain one Two, that's like your first double crochet go back with a second double crochet chain one go back with third double crochet and continue working the same thing i have been showing you until your piece is as long as you want it to be i intended to use the same color but i ran out so i fixed a different color so i didn't really show you when i'm attaching it because i want it to be your choice to use two colors or one color if you like it two you can use two different colors like i have or you can keep using the same color it should be your choice so continue working the same thing until the length of your choice then we will start on our back piece i am getting done with this front piece chain one cut off the yarn this is it and i'm going to count a few pieces like from the waist up but if you're using the same color you can count from up and skip around 12 rows from the top going down bottom me i'm counting from bottom around five rows using the color difference make a loop and come to that row hold on one two three four five to the fifth row from the color difference but if you're not using the color difference count from the top you can count around 12 to 15 rows going down pull through the loop you created chain one to just make it hold then chain two three four you're going to work a chain that is going to connect you to the other side i know someone would ask why don't you just do it offline like all of it complete no i prefer it this way because i didn't want a huge change in the pattern so i'm done with the string like i said your measurement you get your hip measurement and divide it into half so this is the second half of that hip measurement count from down below or up considering where you're coming from and pull through 
so this is my chain of 58 i started with a chain of 58 before and i'm working again a chain of 58 at the back to complete the hip measurement sorry pull through like that i'm going to now work going down below because that that is going to be the back part and now you're going to work chain one two you know you're going to three you're going to come on the top of the chain three or the top of the double crochet and pull through like that then turn your work chain one skip one loop into the next with a double crochet skip two loops into the third with two double crochets this is one two chain one and go back into that same loop with two double crochets like that skip two loops one two into the third with a double crochet chain one skip one loop into the next with a double crochet just like we've been working it skip two loops into the third with two double crochets chain one and go back with two double crochets i'm going to fasten my video i will meet you towards the end of this chain so i am getting to the end of the chain i only have one loop left so I chained one I'm going to go on top of the next row wait as in chain one go on top of the next row and do a slip stitch like that and now you're going to chain three Go on top of the double crochet of the next row, pull through, turn your work, chain one, go on top of the double crochet with a double crochet, wrap your yarn, go in the middle of the chain one space with two double crochets, chain one. Go back with two double crochets. And repeat the same pattern. I'll meet you at the end of the second row. Again, I'm coming towards the end. Chain one. Go on top of the next row. Enter into the loop of the first double crochet and slip stitch. Chain three. You're going to repeat the same thing and you keep working until it's joined all the way down to the length of your choice. I'm going to fasten my video to avoid the video being too lengthy. I'll meet you to show you what to do next. I am almost on the same length with the front piece. I managed to get me some yarn. So
so i'm putting back the old color i had that's why my piece looks like this and i actually love the outcome so i can say i'm almost at the height of my sh the length of my choice now i'm going to show you how to work the back you can make it as long as you want maxi not maxi so this is how it looks we are going to work a double crochet so work a double crochet along the chain that you made to do the back separation perhaps i lost a clip but work a double crochet to help us pass through our strings this is mine this is how it looks you're going to be putting two double crochets in each uh chain two where there was a chain one you put one double crochet on top of the two double crochets you put a double crochet on in each until the end slip stitch and cut off the yarn so this is how our back looks like i'm going to work a string separate to fix up our piece it's this simple so i'm going to double my yarn because i want my string to be thicker but since i have limited yarn so i'm going to join these two colors make a loop and make a long chain a really long chain my chain is ready and now i'm going to fix it in my dress and i'm good to go so this is my dress you're going to come at the neck area and pass through the double crochet row skipping two double crochets each this is it it's for the neck to get that fold and then you're going to count from top to bottom halfway midway between the top and the bottom and pass the the chain to be able to hold the chest area do the same this side Our dress is ready. You can wear it as a dress with a lining in or leave it open. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Give it a like. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. See you in the next video.